Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do another French classic soup. I'm going to show you how I make bouillabaisse and also some uh, spicy mayonnaise to go with it, Rui. So the other day I asked Mrs Keith Cooks what she'd like me to do for the next video and she said immediately without even thinking bouillabaisse because that's the kind of thing she always says. And this is a very traditional soup from the south of France, Provence, round about Marseille. Originally, you know, a fisherman's thing that was thrown together with scraps of fish that nobody else would buy. Uh, it's got a little bit more sophisticated than that now, but um, at, at its heart, it's a way to use up bits of fish. So there you go. Anyway, it's delicious. Let's do it. So, like any soup, really, it all depends on having a fantastic stock. Uh, so we're going to start by making some fish stock. You can use, you know, a cube. I wouldn't blame you, because this process, you know, it'll, it'll take an hour. And it'll cost you quite a bit of money, but it's actually worth it. You get an incredible depth of flavour if you make your own stock. And really, nothing you can buy comes close. Ingredients for my stock, I've got a glass of white wine, I've got a bulb of fennel, and I'm going to keep the frilly bits for garnish later on. I've got a medium large-ish onion, a leek, and the zest of half an orange. I've also got a can of plum tomatoes and a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree. I've also got a small bunch of flat leaf parsley, a few sprigs of thyme, <laughs> the equivalent of two bay leaves and uh, five or six cloves of garlic and a half teaspoon of fennel seeds, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper and you know about 3,000 pounds worth of saffron threads if you're in England. The rest of the world this stuff isn't no, anywhere near as expensive. And a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, henceforth referred to as Evu. Hmm, fish stock. Shouldn't it involve a bit of fish or something? So really to make a fish stock you want heads and bones and things like that and a bit of uh, you know trimmed fish. But I went to the fish counter at uh, my local Morrison's and I said D you know do, do you sell the offcuts and that and they said no we generate tons of it but we have to throw it away we're not allowed to sell it and I think that's from the company not um, an actual government law so shame on you Morrisons. Anyway uh, I had noticed in my local chippy fish and chip shop that um, they offer bags of trimmings for cats and for stock uh, for 40 pence. <laughs> so I got one and this is what's in it. It is it's all fish it's uh, some of this is really you could make a really good fish finger out of some of this but there's no there's no heads, there's no bones, so yeah, it's not actually ideal, but it's what I've got, so it'll do. To start making your stock, you need to chop up your um, leek and your fennel and your onion. Um, so I've, I've chopped the, the loose green bits off the end of the leek, and uh, there was quite a lot of soil and grit in there, so I've rinsed that off, because you don't want to eat that really. I love the smell of fennel, this uh, aniseedy aroma. And we need to peel and dice the onion. I'm not using the skin in this because that would make it a bit dark and brown. So, here we go. Now I need to cook those. Um, so, I want the olive oil on medium heat. And we want it to be kind of shimmering. So we'll pop the lid. Oh, that's too hot. <laughs> well, the leek and the fennel and the onion. So once that's got going, just stir it, get it all coated in oil. And then we'll add some other stuff. I'm just um, squashing the garlic cloves with the back of the knife. Cut me now. I will just throw those in with the bay leaves and the thyme and the parsley. 
and the fennel seeds, cayenne pepper and the saffron. So let that cook away for about 10 minutes and we just want it to go soft, we don't want it to colour in any way. Okay, this is looking lovely. So now I'm going to add the wine to deglaze the pan and uh, I'll turn the heat up a little bit and we'll let that cook for a few minutes for the alcohol to burn off. Now I'm going to transfer it to a big stock pot. And we'll add the tomatoes and the tomato puree. Two tablespoons, like that. And the fish bits. The orange zest and enough water to cover it by a couple of centimetres, about an inch. Ooh yeah, I'm going to turn up the heat and bring that to the boil. And if we get any scum coming off, you need to skim that away. And the reason we don't like scum in, in stock is it makes it go clammy. So, that's why we get rid of it. Right, I'm going to pop that on the stove on a very low heat with a lid on and simmer it for about 45 minutes. Now I'm going to make a thing called rui, which is a kind of mayonnaise sauce, uh, but unusually for Mediterranean countries it's got a bit of sort of chilli heat with um, cayenne pepper in it. I'm a bit nervous for two reasons. One, I got a new stick blender and the last time I tried to make mayonnaise with it, it completely failed. And poof, I don't know why. Um, and secondly, I've never made rui before, so yeah, we'll see. Ingredients for the rui, I've got half cup of evu, a quarter cup of traditional panko breadcrumbs, one large egg yolk, a couple of tablespoons of the, uh, the broth, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a pinch of salt, my last remaining pinch of saffron, and two garlic cloves minced. So we chuck everything except the oil into there, and we blitz it on low speed into a kind of paste. <laughs> Can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll drizzle in the oil slowly as you do for mayonnaise. Well, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but you know, what we've got, a pot, got is a pile of oily breadcrumbs in uh, oily oil. Let's have a taste. After a bit, you get the heat from the cayenne pepper. Um, yeah, I could um, grow to like that, maybe. Right, we're ready to finish off the stock, so we need to, well, blendify it. <laughs> so I'll, I'll probably need to do this in two or three batches. So, chuck a load of stuff in the blender and uh, blend it. And when you can't stand the noise anymore, <laughs> we'll pass it through some cheesecloth in a colander over a bowl. And do the same for the rest of it. So we want to end up with a clear liquid like that but um, as you can maybe see here, there's, there's a lot of solid matter. And I've tried pressing it through with uh, the back of a spoon without too much success. But if you just gather the cheesecloth up, and twizzle it, you can extract a lot more liquid. Now, this is still hot. I can't squeeze it too hard because I'll burn me poor little fingers. But um, if you let that cool down, you can do it like this. Actually, this, this seems to work okay. Press it through a fine sieve with the back of a spoon. You know, I, I could filter it again through cheesecloth. 
if I had any time left to do it with, but um, I probably won't. And then all this solid stuff, that's, that's really good, nutritious fibre and fish and stuff. You could probably send it off to be turned into Weetabix. And uh, the nation would be grateful. <laughs> this is doing my head in. Um, yeah, buy fish stock. Only kidding. It'll be fantastic. I don't. Know, you you can probably see it. It is not a clear stock. So I will pull it through the cheesecloth once again. But I'm not going to go any further than that. You know there is this trick where you can turn it into a consomme, which is completely transparent by uh, floating a, a raft of egg whites on top but mm, no we need to eat this tonight okay final squeeze <laughs> this is so much fun okay it's not the uh, clearest broth ever, but I'm not bothered. What I am bothered about is what it tastes like, because um, I don't know yet. It tastes like fish. That's a good thing, it's meant to, but it does need salt. Double dipping is my favourite thing. <laughs> okay, after all that, let's make wheelbase. I've heated up the stock, um, or the broth, and reducing it a bit. So, fish-wise, use whatever you can get. Uh, there is no authentic selection of fish for this. But, you know, unless you live in Marseille. I'm not taking any comments from anybody in Marseille unless they're positive. Fish, I've got one, two, three different types, whatever you can get. Um, and some shellfish, which, you know, mussels, cockles, shrimps or prawns with the shell on. And you sort of use them in the proportion of three parts fish and one part shellfish. So I'll have a lot left over for Mou Marinière. There's a bit of prep to be done with mussels. So I'll just pop these into cold water. They're quite clean actually. Mmm mmm. Nom nom. So, so that is simmering and I'm just going to put my chunks of fish in and uh, just cook them. It'll take like five or ten minutes. And I've got my muzzles in. Hello babe. Hello darling. I'm I really nom nom. Hey. Uh, did I hear nom nom? You did. Are you doing taste test without me? No. Good. <laughs> oh, come on, you have to put your dinner, your dinner gown on and that. Oh, I know. You know, your muscles, well, when you put them in the cold water, any that uh, don't close are uh, not safe to eat because they're dead. So, get rid of those. Oh, like that one. Not having that. And they'll have a bit of a, a beard. Actually, the ones we used to get in Spain were complete hipsters. They had beards like this. So yeah, if, if, if you do get hipster ones, uh, you might need to use a knife. But otherwise, you just pull it towards the pointy end and it will come off. So I'm going to pop those in. And we're nearly done. When they're open, they're cooked. Okay, I should have done this in a, a shallow pan so you can see what's actually happening. But, um, what you got? Bully base. Oh yeah. Just for you. Oh yeah. Look. You're missing this, it's lovely. <laughs> it's over here. I know. Oh, is that for me? Oh, I'm so ready for this. Mm -hmm. I thought you might be. Mm. Oh, it's nice too. Oh, really? That yeah. was the cheapest thing on the menu. Ah. Ah, mm. oh, okay. Uh, <coughs> Taste test time. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is. <laughs> Keep cooks. Keep cooks. <laughs> oh, you're busy, aren't you? Yes. 
Oh yes please. Let's get it stuck in. I'm impressed with this. We had French onion soup at the beginning of the week. And we are best at the end. <sighs> oh yeah. So where's yours? Oh. <laughs> Come on. I honestly, mm. I, can't, I can't believe. Use ready-made fish stock. Don't make your own. Am I right? It's nice. But I don't know how much pain you went through to get this. A whole day. Oh, babe. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. What's that? Um. <laughs> it looks I don't like know. It's, 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 it's like a cross between caviar and peas pudding. I've got no idea. <laughs> I'll take that. What is it? It's supposed to be rui. And it's supposed to be like mayonnaise, but it's got breadcrumbs and um, cayenne pepper in it. It's a bit hot. Go on. Done. <laughs> There's a hint of something. Oh, it's nice. It's a nice. Couldn't tell you what was in it, but it's a nice savoury thing. Mm -hmm. With just a hint of heat on the edge of your tongue. Okay. Apropos of nothing whatsoever, there was. Um, I was reading something in the paper today about um, an exhibition that's coming up by people who do mosaics, and it's all of words that have been taken out of the dictionary in the last few years, like the junior dictionary, because kids don't use them anymore, including conquer. Conquer? Yeah, not as in William the Conqueror, but as in horse chestnuts and... Come on. Yeah, kids don't use it anymore. You're bifurcating mm. me. But one of them is a picture of a big strong sailor holding... Spinach? No. Popper? No. A dish of mussels. Oh. So it's mussels. Alive, and mussels. alive, oh. Mussels and mussels. So there you go. <laughs> Worked better as a picture. <laughs> this is nice. Mmm. That's all right. It is. Oh, it's better than all right. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Is it everything you hoped for? What? When you, when you requested it. Hot, tasty, and in front of me. <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> All right. Mm. Okay. And I like the um, peas pudding. Rui. Rui. You know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You're tired, aren't you? I just. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a fairly manic day between us. Right, babe. Okay. Let's if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, become a patron, make a donation, etc. There's no etc. Please. Please. <laughs> and <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> and see you next time. Enjoy. Bye. No, I have to do that again. And see you next time. Oh yeah. Thank you, darling. You may go now. Mm. <laughs>